What's up and welcome back Wargamers. This is Battleshock Wargaming Studio and we're getting ready to play another exciting game of Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Ted is back in the house. Ted, how are you today? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm great. I'm excited to play. What are you bringing for us today? Well, today I'm bringing the Gits again. I've been playing them since 2019, so I might as well keep going. Finally got the rules. Uh, I have never played Fire Slayers and Mike's bringing the Fire Slayers, so this will be interesting. Um, looking for the damage output and to try to kill as much as I can um, because I don't have a lot of Galatian veterans, so I can't really hold those side objectives. Sure, and we're gonna see if the might of the Fire Slayers can hold out against all of these mighty jaw attacks. Big shout out to all of our members in our membership service. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, you guys really do that little bit extra that helps support our channel and make it possible for it to run. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Comment down below if you're new to the channel. We love interacting with our with all of our people in our community. If you're interested in the membership service, join that, hit that join button down below and get all of the perks of our membership service, including extra battle reports, which is really cool. Uh, we're trying to get you guys two extra battle reports every month, uh, so join down there. Another big shout out to our affiliates, Baron of Dice and Gray Matter Games. Baron of Dice supplies all of the dice that we roll on the channel and the Gray Matter Games has been nice enough to supply these mats and these objectives that match his mats and they are really sharp and we enjoy playing on them. So with all of that being said, I think it's time to look at the army list. Taking a look at the Fire Slayers today, I'm playing Greyfjord Lodge. Uh, this is great in this edition because it gives all of my foot heroes an extra wound and it gives them a, access to additional relics. So I can take lots of relics, really pump up that power. For my first hero, I have the Rune Father on Magmadroth. His command trait is Blood of the Berserker that gives him a fight twice. And then he has Coldheart Ancient as his mount trait that reduces damage against melee weapons. Next up we have a Rune Smiter. We have two Rune Smiters and a Battlesmith. Uh, the Rune Smiters are here to help me bring out Invocations and the Battlesmith is this utility piece. He gives me a four up rally, a spell ignore, um, and feel no pain. So, really helpful utilities. Also, helpful use for the Battlesmith is he lets me tunnel in with the unit, so I get a deep strike. Awesome. I have one unit of Volkites with their hand axes. This is probably the unit that I'm going to send tunneling. Um, they're there to just kind of run forward, to go snag an objective, and be annoying. We have two units of Volkites with Sling Shields. Uh, the reason I take the Sling Shields is because they get that 4-up save. They do have some mortals they can do on the charge, but they're mostly here because they have a 4-up save and 20 wounds. Uh, getting into the meat and potatoes of the army, we have Hearthguard with Broad Axes. These are Ren 1 damage 2 axes with a 2-inch range, so everyone gets to fight. Um, lots of damage output. We have another unit of Hearthguard with pole axes. Uh, these guys are kind of cool because they can do mortals. They'll do two mortals on sixes with those pole axes. Both Hearthguard units will get a four up ward if they're standing next to a hero. Next up, we have the Grimwrath Berserker. This is a great little hero. He has a relic, Magma Droth Ale, so he can double his attacks characteristics. And this guy gets to fight twice, so he can just really slap. We have the Molten Infernoth. Awesome little, little guy. He moves 2d6 does mortals to everything within three inches of him. And then we have Zargon the Flame Spitter. This is going to do some long range mortals, has 24 inch range. Just going to hang out in the back and just shoot mortals at one unit. And these are the Battleshock dice we're going to be rolling today. These are awesome dice. They roll really well. Happy to get them on the channel. And that is the list. Let's see what Ted's bringing. Hey, this is Ted. I'm running Gloom Spike Gits, Jaws of Mork, which gives me an extra attack on the charge with all of my squigs. I got a Loon Boss on a Mangler Squigs as my Warlord. He has Fight Another Day and Climbing Cowl, so he's minus one to hit, and he can hit and run away. I also have a regular Mangler Squig um, to serve as a linebacker to hit hard. Scragrot is in my list because he has a, a casting ability that he can cause a lot of mortal wounds, and he also knows a lot there he knows all the magic in the book the squig boss gives a lot of uh, special abilities to squig units um, and he also can tunnel around the board of steel objectives later on so i have a block of 20 and a block of 30 squig herd which are hit pretty hard and they have a lot of attacks and they're really hard to kill because they regenerate 
Point Grot Bounders are probably the strongest linebacker unit I have on my list, and they're meant to counter charge and get juiced up by all my magic and my Gabapalooza. Gabapalooza has a lot of special abilities to charge up units, as said about the Bounders, and they also have some interesting magic to protect my army. This is a specialty Baron of Dice, Gloomspite gets dice. It is quite nice to use. I'll be using that today. And there is my list. Let's take a look at the mission. Before we take a look at the mission today, big shout out to all of these people up here on the wall of heroes, these are lords and commanders in our membership service. Big shout out to all of them and thank you for all of your support and supporting the channel. The mission we're playing today is Positions Over Power. This is a hold one, hold two, hold more mission. Uh, the two flank ob objectives are gonna be disappearing battle round four, and you're gonna get an extra victory point if you hold a flank objective with a Galatian champion. We're also getting points for our grand strategies. My grand strategy today is going to be Masters of the Forge. So I will complete this grand strategy if I have an invocation under my control at the end of the battle. Uh, Ted, what is your grand strategy today? Protect the shrine. Protect the shrine, that's a pretty good one. I'm gonna have a hard time getting across the battlefield uh, to get into that. That is it. Let's take a look at who has initiative. All right, Wargamers, we are about to get into it, but before we do, this is the part of the game where you comment down below, who are you rooting for? Is it the Gits and the Jaws of Mork? Or is it the Greyfeard Lodge of the Fire Slayers? Now, uh, you were one drop, I was many. Mm -hmm. um, so you are forcing me to go first. Yes, I which am. Is a, which is a good choice. Um, I'm not sure that I'm strong enough to withstand the double, uh, but we're gonna see what happens. So before we get going, I have to swear my Grimwrath Oath from my Grimwrath Berserker, who's hiding out way down here. And uh, I think I'm gonna give him, I will not be stopped. This unit has a ward of six up if it's within three inches of enemy units, or it has a ward of six up, and if it's within three inches of enemy units, then it gets a ward of five up. Five up wards on a little hip foot hero is nice. Try and keep him oh, yeah. alive. Um, battle tactics. Uh, battle tactics this turn for me is going to be desecrate their lands. Uh, this big piece of terrain right here in the center is desecratable. So I like that. And then how about some heroic actions? I'm gonna get two CP to start. You're getting your three. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna just try and get a command point with my general. He does not. I'm gonna try to get one with a mangler, uh, loon boss on a mangler. General, nope. Let us pray. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna try and summon the mag, the uh, molten infernoth. That's the one. Molten, molten infernoth. Now, normally he's gonna. Uh, has a summon value of four, but I'm standing on a mystical and I'm within six inches of yep. my uh, uh, terrain feature, so I have a plus two. So you need to roll a one. And I have a reroll. <laughs> okay. Uh, because of my brazier. So I want, you, not I, brazier. I want you to roll a one twice. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's summon it. Here we go. And why is that so good against me? because I can't get rid of it. You can't get rid of it. It's just going <laughs> to run around like a madman. Yep. Uh, because of the uh, volatile brazier, brazier, I keep doing that, it's going to come out within 24, because I get to double the range that it comes out in. It immediately moves 2d6 if it's if it's doubles, which is not, so it gets to move 5 inches. Uh, if it's doubles, it's going to be d3 mortals, but it's just going to move 5. The Molten Infernoth has moved. It's standing between the two units right here. Uh, so we get to roll 12 dice for each unit, mortals on sixes. So let's go on this, this unit right here. 20 man unit. Uh, one mortal. One mortal, all right. <laughs> Take a wound. And then on the 30 man unit, uh, three mortals. Three, all right. I always forget my rune of, my runes. I need to do my rune. Do your rune. Uh, I know what it is because we talked about it. Yep. We're going to do the rune of fiery determination, which is a six up yep. ward for the whole army. And we're going to roll. Nope. So I don't get the enhanced effect. The enhanced effect is good. It gives a five up ward for heroes. That is my hero phase. Ready to get into movement? I'm ready. Let's move. Fire Slayers have completed their movement phase. Uh, this unit has arrived contesting this, taking this point with a Galatian champion on it. They were tunneling, so they've just arrived. We've moved 
this unit of fire slayers into the pass, uh, blocking it up. We have a unit of Hearthguard Berserkers waiting for a counter charge back here. The uh, Rune Father is standing on the point waiting for a counter charge. We have more Berserkers protecting in case we have a teleport. And then we have another unit of, uh, oh my god, what are the regular? Volkites. Another unit of Volkites standing in the pass. I figure he's, he has a threat range of the whole board, so I'm just going to push and try and make sure he stays off my point. And that's it. We have no shooting. We have no charges. So what's going on here? Let's score it up. Fire Slayers have completed their turn. It was fast and furious, just like we like it. And all about family. Just like Vin Diesel always says. <laughs> um, so six points. We hold one, we hold two, we hold more. We completed our battle tactic, desecrate their lands. Mm -hmm. And I have a Galatian champion standing on a flank objective. So that's a mighty six points. And I think we're just gonna call the game there and we'll call it a Pyre Slayer's victory <laughs> <laughs> and be done. Yes. Um, let's get into the Squig's turn. What's your battle tactic? Battle tactic, I think I'll do desecrate their lands because I think I can get enough models on the center objective to beat you on that. I think you can it's as an well. Easy one to get. And um, yeah, I think, I think that, yep, I'll do that. I'll save the other ones. Heroic actions. Okay, heroic actions, I think uh, Loon Boss on a Mangler will try to, Mangler will try to get a um, command point. He does. He does. Uh, my general is going to, oh goodness, what is it? He's gonna turn himself into a wizard so he gets an unbind. Okay, alrighty. So, you have some top of heroes to face stuff. I do. do. I'm gonna release the squigs. Release the squigs. Yes. Go, go okay. for it. I'll go take a chair. Yep. And you can move all your models. Sounds good. The squigs have been released. Now you're gonna resurrect, right? They are going to. I have one dead squig, so I'm only gonna roll one dice on a two up to see if I can bring it back with a herder. I hope. I hope you roll a one. If so I roll a one, it. then he dies. Wah! Ah, you got eaten. <laughs> so a herder dies. All right. That's how you play gets. Okay. Casting time? Casting time. All right. I think with my casting, I'm going to try to do uh I'm going to do a itchy nuisance from um I'd say from Boggly eye over to this unit here, and I think I have range. I Boggly do. eye to the Volkite Berserkers. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. This should go off on a six, and it doesn't, so who cares? Got it. And then um, the Shroomancer is going to do the uh, Fungoid Cloud, which makes everything within 12 of him minus one to hit. Cool. Six, it goes off on an eight. Uh, I'm not going to try. I have one unbind, mm -hmm. and I think I want to keep it with Scragrot. <laughs> so go ahead. Okay, Scragrot. He's is he? Does this guy heal very well? Just regular heals? I don't know if I can even see him. Can I see a monster? He is a monster. You do have to have legit. I know, <laughs> and I don't think I have line of sight. Uh, no, I do not. So I'll just fire that into. This is a character right here, right? He is. And he is outside of range. So I'll fire it into this squad here. All right, so we're gonna do Jaws. Is it the Jaws? Fangs of the Bad Moon. Fangs of the Bad Moon. It goes off on a three. Into the Volkites. Yeah. Let it happen. Eight, Eight plus, plus one, one is nine. nine. Okay, let's try and dispel. Hey up. Okay, so it goes off. Let's see if I can four up spell ignore. Because okay. of my Nicillian icon. Hey up. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so they're going to take some mortals. Yeah, so they're going to take, now because I my cast was a nine, I roll nine dice, and on three ups, they take mortals. And you rolled Ooh, terribly. I got three of them. <laughs> uh, success. All right, so one guy. You got one. Everybody gets one. Yep. And I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to... Whew. Let's see what I'll do. I might as well do a squig lure from him. All right, goes off on a five, and it's off on a seven. I have no or more on mine. Yeah, so okay. you're good to go. I went ahead and gave the uh, reroll charge to my loon boss on a mangler squigs because this 
quadrant over here is move, advance, and charge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I should be able to get a long charge off, swing, run away. I love it. And and uh, hopefully run this way. Oh, that's I like it. And a little bounce. Yep, yep. And then bounce redeploy voice. when you run at me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I think that's all for that for um, casting. What I'm going to do now is. What I'll do is I'll give plus one to hit and wound from my Gabapalooza to this big unit here. Okay, so the big unit is gonna get the hit, hit. Gabapalooza, man. I gotta get me a unit of them because they do everything. Yes, they're, and they're cheap. Yeah. They're and probably... they have three wounds apiece and a four up uh, uh, feel no pain uh, at the, um, on the first battle round, then it goes to a five, then a six. The problem is, is finding them. They're yeah. always out of stock. Yes. Um, do you have anything else? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I screwed up with my tunnel boss, but he'll do something else. Sounds good. Let's move into movement. All righty. All right. For movement, I moved the 20 man plus four herder squig herd over here to get up in these guys' business and um, block off that channel. Uh, Boingrot boundaries moved and advanced over there. And they're not in the bad mood, so they're not going to be able to charge. They're just playing linebacker, basically, hoping he can't get to me next turn. Uh, the big squig herd got right up three inches away from this, from his main Death Star type situation. They're obviously going to run in. And then I brought both my manglers as linebackers behind them. They move advanced and charge, but because they're under the, or they move advanced, but because they're under the bad moon quadrant, they'll still be able to charge and hopefully bounce off. Um, I uh, use Tunnel Master on my Squig Boss to take that objective and get him away from that invocation that's going to kill him. I think the last, the only other thing I got is, yeah, Gabapalooza just moved up in the back just to try to give perks to things down the road. Excellent. So no shooting? No Susan shooting. Charges. All right. I think the first thing I'm going to charge is I'll do the big squig block. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do the, oh, loon boss on a mangler squigs. Charging in. Charging over my front line. All right. And I got a eight. So I should be able to get all right over here. Squigs is going to charge to his units here. <laughs> Six. Should be able to. I don't like to roll that many dice, so I'm okay if I miss a couple attacks on this one. <laughs> um, if I roll snake eyes on my fight another day, I'm gonna cry. Because my loon boss on a mango will stay there and get chewed up by little characters. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna charge my other mangler, so I think we can move over to the small 20 man squig herd. Should need a, so three inches away. So need a three, got a six, seven. So I should just be able to pile right into those guys. Yep. Excellent. All righty. Monstrous actions. Monstrous actions. Okay. I think I'm just going to try to roar those guys. Roaring the Volkites. Yes, sir. Okay. Actually, do I want to roar them? I could do something risky here. You do the heroic action that that move three d six. I cool. should do it. Yeah. The, the gone bouncing. Gone bouncing uh, or whatnot. Read it. Read it for all the players here. Okay, um, let's sure, read it for sure you. Know. This is a good one. This is something that uh, that I've wanted to do. Yeah, and you have like a nice hole to do it. Yeah, exactly. So. So to get to it here, gone bouncing. All right. The question is, is like giant boing is what it's called. Giant boing. Only a mangler squigs unit that has made a charge move in this turn can carry out this rampage. So this mangler squig unit can make a 3d6 move, but it must finish that move within three inches of an enemy model. Now, before you do that, I really like that. Uh, you forgot to do your impact hits. I mangler. did. So yes. let's do your impact hits. There's nine models in that squad. So All if right. I remember correctly, it's nine dice, more yep. than four ups. Up to ten, and you only got nine. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. That's a gimme. Whoa. 
All right, so that was decent. Got five mortals. Okay, uh, success. Okay, so that's two, four, five. Now you want to do your heroic action. Boing! Or your monstrous action. Yeah, the and giant it's, boing. It's a monstrous, right? Yes. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Nine. All right. Nine. So I think you if could, I can... You could do whatever you like. The question is, is does he survive it? Can he run away? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is going to be like tricky. Does he immediately die for it? How many wounds does this guy have on him? He has uh, 14, maybe 16. Okay. And he, he does sling mortals back to you, and then these guys do mortals as well. Beautiful. So like, what is he? Our rune smiter on Maggie? The rune father is 16 wounds. I got it. Rune father. Okay. So like, it's cool. It is cool, but I think I might just do that. Because <laughs> you're gonna waste there's your one thing, action. Yeah, there's one thing I promised myself because I was trying to roll good and get here. Oh, I got and it. And then yeah. I could get there and run this way yeah. and then redeploy. You could go. No, nope. can't get there. I can't get anywhere that I want to get. Damn it! <laughs> Come on, I, sh I uh, want to roll. Could you go right there? No, I'm not going there. I'm staying right where staying I am. Staying right where I need you to are. eat crow. I need to, what is it called? Eat crow or whatever? I okay. Need to, I screwed that up. All right. So at the top of combat, I have two things. I do, I have some things to. Ooh, you go first. I would like to. Uh, ooh, I think I would like to eat my mushroom with my loon boss on a mangler squig and make all squigs within 18 of him plus one to wound. Sounds good. So that is a, that's his free command point. So he is going to give all the squigs plus one to wound. Okay. Um, that only really matters for himself because they're already winning on two. I am going to announce that these Volkites are going to fight on death. Okay. My, well, my uh, Grimrath Berserker is going to immediately drink his Magma Droth Ale and double his attack characteristic. Because we it. better do it now. We're, we're locked in combat already. And yep. then... I am going to counter charge okay. uh, with a unit. Counter strike with a unit. Let's, I'm only gonna get five, Volca, uh, five of the hearth guard in, mm -hmm. which is still twice as many attacks as I can with the, with the uh, Volkites. Okay. So let's go in here. Okay, so the hearth guard have counter striked. We have uh, five in range, so it's going to be ten attacks. Mm -hmm. And they get a swing first, huh? They do. They fight first now. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Um, these are threes and threes. I can't all out attack because this is a command to do. So here we go. Oh, they all hit, though. Ooh. Hiya. Okay, we dropped, some, dropped a few wounds. So we got uh, two, four, five at minus one. Yep. And they're two damage piece, so that's five dead squiggies. Five dead squiggies. <laughs> General swinging in, what's he swinging at? Well, um, he is going to, man, you know, I think he's gonna use his two inch attack against that character right there. Not and my then, hero. <laughs> and then I think he's gonna use his one inch against, uh, against your squad there, so. Um, his two-inch attack is the, uh, how many wounds does that hero have? Um, I think there's seven. Gray Fjord, I get an extra wound for my foot heroes. Seven, okay. Then what I'll do is I'll just- it's six. I'll just use everything into this, in this unit, I think. Okay, so my, my hero is safe. Excellent. And then I shall all out defense that squad. Okay, sounds good. Um, and I did not get the roar off, correct? Oh, I didn't roar. I you tried didn't to, roar. I tried you tried to, to bounce. bounce and then just stood there. So he has five of the fang-filled gob attacks. And so these are going to be hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Because um, they got plus one to wound. He's four base and he gets one plus one for charging. charging. Yep. yep. Because he's the Jaws of Mort. Do it. Three. Oh, oh dude. Oh. That's why I did that. <laughs> twos. 
Oh! One at Rend 1. Rend 1, uh, so we'll take our 4-up save. Yes! Failed it. D6. 6! Six. Oh, you rolled the big 6, though. Okay, success! We saved 2, so we take 4 Dalmage. Uh, <laughs> which kills two gentlemen who get to immediately fight. Of course they do. You ready? Come Watch on. this. Two attacks. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> no wounds. Oh, nice day. okay. They're one attack these with their picks. They just... <laughs> <laughs> Balls and chains. Balls and chains. Threes and twos. All right. <laughs> two. All right, so you got four Ren 2. Okay. Uh, so these will be fives. Save two of those. Ooh. D3 each. It's four. Sixes? Failed them all. Nice. So that's two and another. Mm hmm. Okay, so we have two more attacks into the squiggos. Of course you do. Hata. One. Take a wound, good sir, rend one. Okay, damage one. Damage so one. You got one of those wound dice over here? Yep. Go ahead and add it to. Okay, now um, we'll do the moon cutter from the actual loon boss. The moon cutter. Okay. And I don't think he gets the plus one to wound, does he? Because um, he's not a squig. No, he's not. He's just a and regular old guy. Threes. Three at minus one. Fours. Saved one, failed two. Two damage each. Sixes. Saved one. We take three damage. Two more guys die. Huh. Oh, right. And then the last. Well, I'm going to fight you. Oh, yeah. Take a wound. Ah! Okay, and then the last, but not, but definitely least, the bashing sticks. Oh, this is gonna get the fours sergeant. and fours. Oh, one hit. One is all you need. Come on. Oh! Put it in the box. No! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure they're fearless or something. No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> they're all right, now he's gonna run. Because he didn't do what he had to do. This is from his command trait? Yeah, this is fight another day. So he gets a swing and then bail. Bail. Bail! Eight. Eight's good. Yeah. Sorry. You like that one better? Yeah, because if I don't get the double turn, then uh, you're going to come eat me alive. Right? Maybe. I still <laughs> have to kill all of these squigs. <laughs> True. <laughs> all right. Your activation. All right. My Grim Wrath Berserker. He's gonna do all of the work for my whole army. He's gonna all out attack. <laughs> Is he too damaged? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have eight attacks. Okay. Uh, we're gonna hit on twos, wound on threes, rend two, two damage. Beautiful. Here we go. Drop two. And then we hit have it on threes. Oh, oh no, I dropped three. No. Okay, so there's three dead squiggos. Oh. Well, should I swing over there? Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I kind of forgot that existed. Okay, how many how many squigs do I got over there in combat? I got a couple that are out. These I'd are say only... They're only less than an inch base. Right, so two out. Two out. Everybody else is in. Okay, so that's three total because that guy's gone. So they're 17. There you go. Times four. 17 times four. Okay, so I'll just do 17 at a time. Is that all right with you? It's fine with me. Okay. Okay. So these are fours and threes unless there's any modifiers. Nope, fours and threes. All right, the first 17. Fours. And, uh, you tell me if there's a more efficient way to do this. Uh, you can get bigger hands and more dice. Okay. <laughs> threes. Four so far. Yeah, so I flipped that, that one. That one's good. Yep. Keep keep rolling. I'll make a little pile. Okay. Four. All right. Fours not so hard. And threes. All 
That was better. Mm -hmm. Six more. Okay. This is your last volley coming up. Uh, I had four volleys, right? How oh, Lord. Yeah, you have two more to go. Yeah. Next one. Four decks of peas. <laughs> four threes are in one. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> and you can like soup, just soup these guys up to insane levels too. I can with the, yeah. these ones are souped. Oh man. But I didn't give them the mortals because I'm an idiot. Three, so. Okay, six more. Two, and then the last one. Four, six more. Hold strong, little roots. Okay, so seven more. Seven more. At rend one, one damage. Okay. Do you like rolling dice? Have you considered playing squigs? <laughs> uh, these are gonna be on fives and then six up wards. So we only saved So we saved five. Six. He got six there. There is six there. And now we have six up wards. Saved dos. So we take two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen damage. All right. They got two wounds apiece, right? They have two wounds apiece. 15 damage. Excellent. That was a lot of damage. Awesome. Um, it is my activation. Get it, Sergeant. Go. <laughs> yeah. I just don't want to let you pile in too much into my grammar. <laughs> you ready for your, these two attacks? Yes. One, at minus one. Uh, just goes right through, man. Take a damage. <sighs> okay, activations. Yep. You played smart. Good job, dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can string out with the herders, and that is a dangerous plan always. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that sergeant just... <laughs> <laughs> completely surrounded by squigs. Yeah, that's funny. Today seems like a good day to die. All right, they'll activate. So I got two, four, six, eight onto the ham. So I feel comfortable with him dying. Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna make you roll a gazillion dice to kill him. Okay. He's dead. He'll take his two attacks at you when he dies. Oop, excuse me. No, great. No, okay. Over here, is that a character? He for sure is a character. Okay, well, I'll do Looks like I should be able to do three into him and two into here. Okay, so I think. three squiggos into the Grimrath Berserker, two yep. squigs into the Hearthguard. Yeah. And these are plus one to hit and wound. So threes and twos, this is into... Um, the Grimrath Berserker? Yeah, I Maybe. think so. Maybe. How many did I say into him? Three? Three. Yep, that's it. Threes and twos. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got seven. I rend one. Fives? That's a good five roll. Hell yeah, it is. And then we have a five up ward. Because of my oath. Uh, so I take two damage. Ooh, <laughs> that dice is right down there. Noise. Threes and twos. Okay. All right. So seven. I run one into that unit there. Six. Seven. Seven into the hearth guard. So these are going to be sixes. Oh, nice. save three Sixes. of them. And then we have four up wards because we're standing next to a hero. Uh, so I take one damage. Oh. Are you ready for the might of my four mighty pickaxes? Yes. One hit. <laughs> it looks like me. One wound. Oh. Take a damage. Uh, that's a one dead, has a damage. One yep. has a damage. Kill a guy. Yep. At the end of the combat phase, if this unit is within three inches of an enemy, 
and has fought no more than once in that phase. Roll a dice on a two up, it can fight. So we're gonna see if on a two up we can fight again with the Grim Wrath Berserker. Yes! Oh! So we have three, six, eight attacks. He had that all out attack, so this is still twos and threes. Let's go. Oh no. <laughs> Only one loss of the one. Come on. Come on, threes. One's and twos, one's and twos. Yes, yes. Okay, so that is five dead squiggos. So he took eight by himself. <laughs> oh, God. There's so many of them, though. There is. Um, now, you have an interesting battle shock mechanic, so let's do the battle shock rolls on this unit here. Okay, so that unit appears to be, has a, they have a bravery of four, mm -hmm. and they appear to be, a, they're down um, five, 10, 15. Yep. Okay. 11 plus, D6. 11 plus D6. Now, however many flee on two ups, I spit mortal wounds back to a unit within nine. Correct, Mundo. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this D6. Yep. And I'm gonna get a six. <laughs> No, I got a three. So 14, two up mortal wounds back to, and I'll just spit him at this guy. Two ups. Mortals on twos. Oh no, I missed four of them. 10. 10 mortals. <laughs> now make sure. That was the right one. <laughs> yeah. Now how many, how many guys fl fled? That many, oh, how many do I yeah. have left? I think almost all of them, right? Like, make sure you. Six. Yeah, you lost 14. Yeah, I, I have enough here. It's okay, huge, man. So it's all my squigs, I believe. Yes. All the squigs, none of the herders. <laughs> Except for the one that died. Don't worry, they'll be back. Nine, ten. Okay, so we're going to roll ten ward saves on the general. Yeah. And I saved two of them, so we'll take eight wounds. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then over here, uh, I lost three of them, it looks like, over there. Is that right? Does that make sense to you? Uh, yeah, you've lost three. Okay. No, you only lost two this turn. Yes. Yes, because one was from before. So five. So bravery, I lost two down to two, five, so three dice to roll. Three two ups to roll at your unit. Okay, go for it. Uh, two mortals on that unit. Hey, yeah. You failed them both. And three run away. Let's roll bravery. Roll a five. So they're running no matter what happens. Nice. So you killed all of my screens. Okay. Uh, battle shock is complete. Let's get on to hero and score it up. Gits have completed their turn. They tried to fight everything and they were almost successful. How did you score, Ted? It uh, looks like I hold one. Hold two, but not more, and it looks like I got my battle tactic. You did complete your battle tactic, which was desecrate their lands, so and he has plenty around this one. So I got four points, I believe. Four to my six. Yep. Um, so this is a situation, though, that if you win the turn, you're just going to run through my entire army. It's possible. <laughs> so let's get into a very important roll-off. Before we do, though, you need to roll to move the moon. I do. Yep. Now, on a four-up, it moves. Yep. I can tell it to move. You can entreaty the moon from... I can, yep. and um, you know, in this case, I think uh, Scragrot's gonna tell it to go to the center. He's gonna tell it to go to the center? Yeah. All right, cool. Cause cool. I just, I need it to happen cause my bounders are off in, in La La Land over there. Sure. And they need to do something. Cause they're probably the strongest hitting unit I have and they're just over there. Ah, they're so good, I love them. Okay. All right, Ted, let's get another roll off. Yep. Five is strong. No! Oh. We will maintain order in this game. Mm-hmm. And let's get into Fire Slayers. Battle round two. Mm-hmm. All right, Wargamers. We are getting into battle round two for the Fire Slayers after a devastating turn one. We're going to see how much damage we can pump out. Turn two, we got to turn it on. So let's get right into it. My battle tactic is going to be settle a grudge. Okay. And I'm going to settle the grudge I have with these gits while they're all messed up. Sounds good. Um, heroic actions. I would like to do heroic recovery on my rune father. And I haven't the slightest clue what his bravery is. He's brave eight, which seems fine. 
<laughs> uh oh, I rolled a six. Come on. Yeah, we got it. Okay, great. So he heals one wound. All right. Mm. I think I'm probably going to try to generate a command point on my Loom Boss and a Mangler Squigs. And I don't. No command points for you. Excellent. I need to do my rune. My rune is going to be the rune of Awakened Steel. And we're going to improve the brand characteristic of all my weapons by one. And on a six, it's going to be plus two. It is not. Now let's do some prayers. We are going to do runic empowerment from the runeschmeiter here to the hearthguard berserkers. He gets a plus one and he gets to reroll it. Goes off. That gives them a plus one to wound, so they get to wound on twos. My other rune schmeiter uh, is within 18 of the, the forge, so he gets plus one to cast. He's gonna bring out the flame spitter on a two. He gets it. Zargron the flame spitter activates in the shooting phase. So we're okay. just gonna, we're just gonna wait. Okay, cool. But we do get to move Magma Draw. Not move. the Magma Draw. The Molten Infernoth. We want doubles. No, no doubles activate. So he gets to move five inches. So uh, the Infernoth has three units within three inches of him. Um, yeah. So let's start with the Gabapalooza. Okay, so we're gonna do mortals on sixes. One mortal, two mortals. On the Scaremonger, five up, because it's battle round two. Did you take two? Huh? Two mortals. Oh, two? Two. Yeah. Five up. Come on. Ugh. Nice. So he's got one wound left. Let's do 12 dice on your uh, general here. Mm -hmm. Take two mortals. And he just takes them. Uh, you count up or down? Uh, wound suffered. Okay, wound suffered. Then I will. Two on him and two on him, right? Yep. Sounds good. And then 12 dice on the regular old mangler's there. Take one more. All right. Chip damage is the very mm -hmm. best of damage. I love chips. Mmm, crunchy chips. Um, that is it for hero phase. We did all the things. You want to move into movement? Sure. Let's do it. Fire Slayers have completed their turn. We move this unit of Volkites slightly. Um, we still have our Rune Smiter hanging out to activate the uh, Shuta. This unit of Hearthguard Berserkers, uh, they've towed onto the point. Oh my goodness. But they're trying to make it so it's a little bit harder for all of these uh, Squig squigs to get onto the point, and then hopefully I'll be able to counter charge you in your turn. The general has moved into the, into the fray. I'm kind of wishing that I had finest houred him instead of uh, heroic recovery, because now he's gonna try and fight everything. And then our Hearthguard and our Grimwrath Berserker are definitely gonna kill those, uh, the remains of your squig herd. That is it for movement. Let's get on to shooting. Uh, so the flame spitter is going to fire into the its magma blast into the the squig herd. We get to roll twelve dice. And that what's the range of that? Twenty four. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, four ups or mortals okay. because of your unit size. Um, and we did not get rid of ourselves, so that's cool. Um, but we rolled really poorly. Take four more. Two squigs are dead. Ten throwing axes in your squiggos. Okay. Fours and fours. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. And take three saves because there's no rent. Sixes. I made one, so another model down. Excellent. Uh, and then we have one of the hero axes coming at you from the, the guy in the back. He's out of range. I take it all back. <laughs> Moving on down the line, let's look at the general. So the roaring fire stream. Now, is, are, th is, are these mortals or is it hit the wound? Hit and wound. So I can all uh, defense it? You certainly can, but it's rend three. 
I would get a six up save still. I'm targeting the, the squeaker. Oh, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Minus one to hit. Great. Uh, do, 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 do. So hit. Let's see. In addition. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's see. Because we're bracketed, we're hitting on threes. Uh, so now we're going to hit on fours. Hi up. Look at how those four hits. Okay. Uh, threes to wound. Ugh. Take three, run three, single damage. Three? Yep. Excellent. He does have his hero axe that he's going to throw, his throwing axe. Yeah. Uh, he's going to chuck this at your general. Okay. He misses. Okay. Okay. The foot hero standing next to him is going to chuck his little axe. He fails to hit. Um, the Grimwrath Berserker is going to throw his little axe into you. Oh, yep. It hits. It wounds. This one's ran one, though. Take a damage. Boom. Boom. Get him. Okay. Now, uh, all of the Hearth Guard aren't going to throw their axes because I've already lengthened my charge and I don't want to charge lengthen it anymore. Okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm done. That's now. what I'm, I'm like. Yeah, keep doing it. Yeah, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Just keep, keep I'll have idiot. one model left and it'll be six inches away. <laughs> um, shooting is complete. So let's set up on the Hearth Guard for charges. Um, actually, we're going to charge with the Grimwrath Berserker first. Get him out of my way. Six inches. Yeah. Pretty sure he can kill that whole squad by himself. Mm. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Based on, he deleted 12 last yeah, time or he's something? Not gonna, like, he doesn't get to double his attacks this okay. time. That's a once per battle. So only six. There's three on the board. Yeah. But they're minus one to hit now. Sure. sure. Um, let's go ahead and charge in with the uh, horse card. Big number. Six. Uh, let's charge with the general, huh? Seven. Okay, I have no more charges. Monstrous actions. Monstrous actions? I'm going to Titanic Duel you. I am going to... Wait, you're, you're minus two to hit. Aren't yeah. You? Mm, yeah. Mm, then I roar you, good sir. I That's what you. I was just I roar say. you. You're roared. Okay, good. Okay. No, none for you. So I get to do something to you, right? You can, titan you can do something to me for sure. I guess I will Titanic Duel you. I am going to do, once per battle, at the start of my combat phase, I can pick one friendly unit on the battle with this ability, Lord of the Lodge. And if I do so, we're going to unleash the Wrath of Grimnar, and all friendly Fire Slayers within 12 inches of my general are going to get plus one in their attack characteristic. Of course they are. So we're just going to go bonkers. Okay. Cool. And then we're going to activate my general first. So we get five attacks with the Latchkey Grand Axe. These are going to be fours because you're debuff. So we're going to be at fours and three swoops. Ready, Freddy? Three hits. Three wounds. Uh, Ren two, sir. Six fives. Uh, nine damage. Ooh, I should have done that. <laughs> All out defense on that son of a gun. Uh, you're roared. Oh you yeah, couldn't. that's right. I can't do it. Now we're going to go with the Blazing Maw. Uh, these are going to hit on fives right now because of your debuff. So we have four attacks with the Blazing Maw. Hey up. No hits. Yes. Now we have the Claws and Horns. So we're going to have six attacks. Uh, fours and threes. Here we go. They normally hit on twos? They normally hit on threes. Minus oh, I rolled really bad. So I got one hit. Oof. One hit. Wounds on a three. It wounds. Ren two. Six. Nope. Dos damage. Ooh, one wound left. Oh, <laughs> so, oh so close. Okay. Um, and then we're going to... Blood of the Berserker, once per battle in the combat phase, after this general has fought for the first time in that phase, you can say it will go berserk. If you do so, the general can fight a second time in that phase. But the strike last effect is, is applied. Okay. So you may, you're in your bottom bracket, which is your best bracket. Mm -hmm. So you may go berserk, go nuts. Um, your activation, sir. 
I'm going to activate with him. <laughs> okay. All right. I didn't make a charge, so I don't, I don't get the additional attack with the um, gob, with the squig. So I only get four attacks um, with the huge fang-filled gob. These are going to be hitting on twos because he's at his best profile with one wound left. Okay. Uh, I am all out defensive. Twos and threes. All right. Twos. All hit. Threes. Two wounds at Ren one. Fours. Failed them both. 2d6 damage. So five. Five? Five wards. I failed all my wards, so I take five damage. And then let me check my, my blood stuff. Each time a wound caused by an attack on a melee weapon is allocated to this unit. So let's do this at the end. Okay. Keep going, because all of your attacks happen. Yep. All right. So he's going to die. For sure. Okay. <laughs> but the, the question is, is, does my general also die? He's going to die. I Let's get eight, eight of these, uh, eight, of, eight balls and chains. And yep. They're hitting on twos and wounding on threes. Because it's a Titanic two. Maybe not. Maybe I jinxed it. No. <laughs> Six hits. Threes. Six wounds at Ren two. Two. Six. Oh, I'm sorry. Cold Heart Ancient, I'm going to reduce the damage that you inflicted on me by uh, one apiece. Okay. So I've suffered three damage. I remember, guys. I remember Cold Heart Ancient. <laughs> I did it. I did it. All right. So let's go um, at Ren 2. So I saved three of those. Nice. 3d3. Two, so two. one, two. Oh, it's, it's D3. One, two, yeah. And so then three more. damage. Yep. Three more. Three damage. Yep. Wards. I saved none of those, so I've taken six damage. You're telling me there's a chance. Five, so these will be twos and threes also. From my loon boss, all hit. Come on, baby. Four wounds at Ren one. Okay, fours. Okay, I saved two of those. Two damage, so drop to one each. Yep, so two more damage. Let's take my wards. I failed them both. So I take two more damage, so that's six, seven, eight. Eight plus seven. He has one wound left, see if you can do Bash it. Bash and sticks. This will be threes and fours. Come on, big guy. Oh, no! <laughs> one. Four up. Yep, goes okay. through, no rent. Three up. Saved it. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do mortals back to you. So he's, he's dead? Uh, you suffer... Four mortals, but okay. when he explodes, he does mortals. He fall. does. <laughs> okay, so I got to roll the dice for each unit within three inches of him. Just the one. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. You have. I have units. units too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I'll do your guy first. Sure. <laughs> yes. D three mortal wounds. Okay. One. No. Okay. No. Ward. Ward power activate. Let's go. No, he's dead. Yes! <laughs> and then my mangler takes it. And how many does he take? Two. Two. And then they just blew up against each other. Okay. <laughs> and then my gobapalooza takes it. One. So Scaramonger fucking eats it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on here. Nope. He nope. It. it was karma. Okay, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that was... <laughs> Splat! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> when there's that much, like, violent destruction for I no know. apparent reason. <laughs> Just it's, running into each great. other and blowing up. Well, that happened, I think, the way you want it to happen. Or... I mean, I would have liked to survive okay. and then fight the next mangler. That yeah. would have been the best. Okay. But, uh... I still got your guy, which is good. Um, he doesn't get to, to do his thing. Grimrath is going to activate with his... Back down to four attacks now, right? We went up to five because the general did his thing, but then the general died. And so, he doesn't get a swing again? Uh, who, this guy? Yeah. It, it will be if he dies or on a two-up. Okay. But that's at the end of combat. Okay. So this is going to be his first swing. Okay. Do you want to roll this out, or I should pull those models, or what? No, I just okay. Because you're, you're at a minus one to hit. Okay. So like, yep. Nope. Nothing. Okay. 
There you go. Uh, do you want to hit me with your bashing sticks? Yeah, I do. <laughs> the prodders, you mean? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever swung with these in real life. <laughs> they usually just die. This is the content that everyone okay. wants. Let's see what... Fives and fives, two attacks each. So yeah. what, I got three of them. So six attacks, fives and fives. Oh, they're plus one to hit and wound. So fours and fours, baby. Um, they still have it from the last... What are they going into? Um, they're going to go into your character. Okay, so everything into the Grimrath. Fours and fours. Go nuts. Ah! Oh, man. Two hits, which makes sense, I guess. And nothing. Splendid. Nice. That's <laughs> what I thought they would do. <laughs> um, now do you want to pick them up? Yep. <laughs> you just pile in, and then I'll pick them up. So that was combat. Bloody uh, it combat. Was fantastic and wonderful. Let's look at your battle shock. Okay. Well, I lose three of those guys with bravery four. You didn't charge them, huh? You didn't want to? I had, I wanted none of that. Okay. <laughs> nope. So, nice. <laughs> All right. Five run. And um, I think I'm going to pump these five mortal wounds back. Unless this guy's within nine. Oh, yeah, he's within nine. Double check that you don't have to have line sight. It might, I think it's just pick something within nine. This is pick one enemy unit within nine of the, within nine inches. So okay. I'm going to put him on him. So it's all going into my battlesmith. Two ups. Okay, four mortal wounds, and I'll pull the models. Four sixes. Okay, take four wounds. Uh, Off camera, we realized that it's within nine of the model that flees, so it's model by model basis. So our Battlesmith takes one mortal, and then this unit is gonna take three mortals. Um, I'm gonna roll their, their ward saves, because they have four up ward save. Okay, so they take Ooh. one mortal. These guys are tough, man, tanky. Mm -mm -mm. Boom. That is it. All Let's right. get on the hero and score it up. Fire Slayers have completed their turn. It was vicious and bloody. Loved it. Uh, we scored five points. So we hold one, we hold two, we don't hold more. We completed our battle tactic, which was settle a grudge. And then I do have a Galatian champion still standing on this flank objective. So that's cool. Five points. So the score is currently 11 to four. But we are getting into the Git's turn. What's your battle tactic? I'm going to do eye for an eye. Eye for an eye. I think I can reliably kill something. I think so too. And, um, yep, I think that's... Heroic actions. Yeah, I think uh, I'll try to generate a command point with uh, Scragrod, I guess. It's the only one they can, I think, back there. That's right. So Scragrod has one that he gets anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to be able to use them. I mean, he's Warmaster. Let's see. He's... Yep, I get it. Go. He, get, he has two to use okay. for free. And then uh, I am going to try and get one on my Battlesmith on two up because my general's dead. I got it. Yeah, I'm really wishing now that I would have uh, planted my, my flag and given everything a five up ward. Uh, you're still at one. I'm still at one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because my general's Your dead. Your general's dead. Yeah. No, none for you. Um, casting. You want to do your casting? I think I'll do Itchy Nuisance. Um, from Boglii. Okay. On the hearth guard. On these guys, yep. Cool. Itchy Nuisance is thrown at that fight last. He can't do it though. Nope, can't do it. Um, I think the Shroomancer will do uh, Fungoid Cloud. No, he can't do also that either. No. I should have just rolled Snake Eyes. <laughs> just kill him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scrag, I was saving the box cars for Scragrot's yeah, uh, um, shooting ability. Yep. I need a three. The fangs of the Bad Moon. Seven. Seven plus, plus one. one is an eight. Yep. Uh, what's he targeting? Uh, he's targeting this character. Okay, the Grimrath Berserker. On a four up, I can ignore it. Ign oh! Hey, up. That comes that from the, the relic. Very handy. The Nasillion Icon. Nice. Mm. Okay. And then. So, Holy Within, we got a 12 inch range for the Mystic six. Shield coming from Scragrath. Yep. And they get a six plus one is a seven. 
They got it. Okay. I think casting is done. Um, um, I, I'm going to also, ooh, I got to, I, I can't forget to regenerate that unit. Right you can, there. if you'd like to, you don't have to <laughs> okay. roll it, right? I'm going to. <laughs> so I got four of them. I'm going to, how many am I missing squig wise? I got five, nine left. So I'm just going to try for all of them. Cool. Yeah. Cause I got 11 to bring back. Hopefully. All right. Uh, two ups. I lost a herder. Yes. Uh, so you can grab one of those if you want. Let's take this guy. Okay. That way you break coherency. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then 3D3. So three, four, five squig back. Could have been worse for me. All right. Anything else for the hero phase? Um, yes, I need to, I need to give, um, I don't know if he died or not. I was going to give plus one to hit and wound from my... The Gabapalooza? Oh, no, he's there. The spiker's yeah. there, and um, the Brugit is there as well. So I'll give plus one to hit and wound to my Mangler. Okay. All right. Seems good. Okay. None of their spells went off, so they got to do something. Let's move into movement. All right, Ted, you've completed your movement phase. Walk us through what you got going on. All right, so I, I rolled a six on the run. I can move, advance, and charge because the moon's in the middle, covering the whole board. I rolled a six with these guys, which gave me an 11-inch move, so I was like, oh, my gosh, that's enough. So I took them over there. They're going to go bounce into those dwarves and see what happens. Um, brought the bounders up. They're the ones with plus one to hit and wound, and I'm going to try to get in some impact hits on these nasty... Hearth guard. Hearth guard looking dudes. Um, I jumped over your unit over here uh, to move advance the mangler squigs to also do impacts in the back line and hopefully steal the objective. Yeah, that's a huge move to be able to get all the way over there, but there he is. I did ro roll a redeploy on the hearth guard because I wanted to go at his uh, objectives yep. and, and chase down the Gabapalooza, but I only rolled a one. So there we stand. So that is it for movement. Let's get in charges. So I think I'm gonna charge my Mangler. And you're, you're called, they're Hearthguard? They are Hearthguard. I'm gonna charge in there because it's probably the most important and it's what I wanna use my command point for if I need to. Um, so let's see what he does. Snake, Snake eyes. eyes. Use that command point, bro. I think I'm Hold going on. to. Stand by. That's a vanilla Mangler. Yeah. Does it have a leader? Oh, that's right. Do I have a leader around it? I don't think I do. So he can't do it. I did it. Yes. I ruled, <laughs> lawyered him to victory. <laughs> and thank you, Baron of Dice. I appreciate the snake eyes. And <laughs> um, all right, so uh, let's look at the let's look at the boing rats now. It's always the dice's fault. It's never my fault. <laughs> yeah, it's not poor planning. <laughs> Bounders do have a leader. Yes. So, so they... I can actually use it for them. Yes. Excellent. All right. So here we go. Bounders. Five. Five. Five I think I fire, made right? it. Yeah, you made it. Okay. Impact hits? Yep. I got to do impact hits. I got to do uh, four up for every model in the squad that I have. So. 10 four ups, hopefully, for impact hits. Right. And that was math. Yep, yeah, five. Okay, let's do uh, four boards. Here we go. Uh, take three. That was also about math. And then I'm going to charge over there with that squig herd. Squig herd charging squig in. Squig herd coming in. Six. Should do it. I should have been about three. Yo. So start of combat, I'm going to announce that the Volkites are going to fight on death. And okay. I'm going to spend my one command point to counter strike and fight first with my Hearthguard Berserkers. Great. What's the Ren characteristics of their weapons? They're all Ren 1 right now. Because of Awakened Steel. Um, but we do two mortals on sixes. Okay. And how many attacks do they each have? Uh, two attacks apiece. Okay, so I might use my last command point for all of defense. 
You don't want to use it for your saving and a morale with your terrible, terrible morale. Those are your two options, right? Those like, are my <laughs> two options. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna use all of defense. All of defense it is. Because uh, you're at a, you got your mystic shield off. Yep. So that'll keep you at your three up save. Which yeah. Which is good, really good. Um, it's gonna be really good until I roll all sixes. Here we go. <laughs> threes and threes. Take two, oh. four, six, oh. eight. 10 mortal wounds, sir. <laughs> Five drop. And those are in addition to. So now we still get to try to wound. And then we have, okay, so take three, six, seven, eight. At minus one, so take your eight three up saves. Of and course. you failed four. Nice. Two more. Whoa. That's crazy. Fire Slayers go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really liking that failed charge on that mangler. It's just snake eyes charged. All right, let's go look at the squig herd. Okay. Okay, let's pile in with those guys. Cool. Yep, looks great. All right, what do I got here? 12, 13, 14. This is 14, mm -hmm. so I can do this four times. Okay? Yeah. Yep. Fours and threes. Why don't you use 28 two times? All right, you want me to use your dice? Sure. Maybe I should just use all your dice. <laughs> Here's 25, uh, and then we'll... Put three more in there. There you go. No, I want these three. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Fours and threes. Fours first. Okay. Threes. Six at rend one. Six at rend one. Six. I failed them all. I'm going to hold on to my fight on desk with these three guys. I'll do that when we're done. All right, three, six, eight. Success! Save two. So another two, six, four, six guys deck. Or uh, three guys deck. Two, four, six. So we've lost six in total. 12 attacks back at you. From Dude. our fight on death. These are threes and threes. So take five saves, no rent. Oh, rent one. My bad. Rent one. Rent now. one. Yep. All right. So five go through. Five go through. Single wounds? Single wounds. Um, it is back to my activation. Mm -hmm. So I will activate with the four remaining. Uh, Volkites. Here we go. These are threes and threes. So take five more damage. Ren one, so we just go right through. Yep. All right. I also am just befuddled that they gave those things two wounds. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Man. Like, what if we made them thick boys? <laughs> Founders. All right, the lances get the additional uh, rend and uh, damage. Yep. All right, so fours and threes. Um, and it looks like I have six, seven attacks. No, six, my sergeant's not there. Uh, fours and threes. Fours. That's math. Yeah. Math threes. and out. Two at rend two. Okay, it goes right through. Two damage. Uh, two damage piece, so four damage. Yep. So let's go fours. Take a wound. Oh. All right, and then I have four times three is 12, because um, I made a charge. Mm -hmm. 12 um, fang filled gobs. So fours and threes. Arr, arr, arr. Oh math. no. It's oh math. no, that is not math. We should review my <laughs> dice rolling this game afterwards and see how far off math it was. Okay. So two, two, red one. 
Sixes. Fill them both. Fours. Save one, fail one. You got a guy. Nice. Okay, so combat complete. Let's go to her uh, bravery. These guys are gone. They have to be gone. I'm at minus six. Okay. Bravery. Right. So two plus d6. Run. Right. Uh, I thought you're. I think you're at minus five. Uh, that guy at the beginning of my hero phase. Oh, okay, ran okay. Away. Yep. All right, you ready? Go for it. Oh, one. So that's three. Uh, yeah. One plus six is seven. Minus nope. four is three. Yep. Okay. And two ups. Into. Are um, you going into the hero? What are you doing? Um. No, I'll go into the unit. I think. Still into the squad. Yep. Uh, two. Immortals. You got a guy. Okay. Now let's do bravery. Um, so this squad has lost seven. Seven plus three is ten, and their bravery seven. So three run away. Hearthguard are brave eight. They lost three, so they should be fine. Yeah, they're fine. Yep. So uh, you have two on this point. I still have two, so that's cool. Let's get on here and sport up. Uh, he's got a roll for I do have to roll for bringing a unit back. Oh, yes. This is very important. Please do not. not. Four up. Hey, you got hey. it. I think I'll bring 18 squigs back. All right. Well, he's doing that. We're going to go on hero. Start scoring it up. All right, war gamers. We are back from the gets turn. It was a turn of highs and a turn of lows. Ted, how did you score? Um, it looks like I hold two. Yep. So I should get four plus a bonus, right? Right. So you're so up five. to 10. Yep. Uh, to my 11. So it is a close game. And I, 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 I really want to continue priority here. Mm -hmm. uh, and just continue just holding it. So let's get into that mm -hmm. all important roll off. Yes. Uh, I break ties. Okay. Let's do it. Ready? Three, yeah. Two. Hey! -ya. Oh. Oh, yes, order continues. Damn it. <laughs> so we're going to get into top of battle round three, Fire Slayers. All right, War Gamers, we're getting here at the top of battle round three. Fire Slayers have wonderfully won the roll off, so we get to mm -hmm. uh, and just continue just holding it. So let's get into that mm -hmm. all important roll off. Yes. Uh, I break ties. Continue playing Warhammer, which is always a great feeling. Yep. Um, for a battle tactic, it's going to be eye for an eye time. Uh, and it's going to be, we're going to try and get this Mangler Squig off of my back point and then wait for those flank objectives to drop off. And then it's going to be just a fight for the center, which um, hopefully I can win. Yeah. So let's, for my rune, I'm going to do the rune of fury, which is going to add one to hit rolls, which I really like. Get my whole army hitting on twos. And then we're, let's see if we can get the enhanced effect. We do not. I don't know what the oh, enhanced effect is. You know what I also have to do? We forgot, we got to make sure the, the moon moves or doesn't we, move. Yeah, we talked about that a bunch, but let's yes. definitely do that. Okay. Move it. Okay. No, I don't want it to move. Move it. One through three. Come on. Yes. Okay. Stay Stays still. in the middle. Excellent. 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 So let's do some heroic actions. I'm getting one command driller point. Uh, so for heroic action, my battlesmith is going to try and get another one on a two up. He does. Okay. Well, try to generate a command point on Scrag Rot. So Go Scraggy. Two. Go Scraggy. It goes. He yep. gets he's it. Got so he's got two. Two three ones. So. That he won't use, <laughs> but he's got him. Let's go ahead and issue a rally from the Battlesmith. When he issues a rally, it's on fours. So we're going to try and rally the Hearthguard. Let's get three, three Hearthguard back, huh? Dirty. Dirty, 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 dirty. 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 Excellent. Um, let's throw a couple prayers out. Rune Spider is going to pray for Runic Empowerment. Okay. Give them plus one wound. Uh, it perils. Does he get? He gets the reroll because of the the icon. Icon. He gets the rerolls. Yeah. Oh no! I rolled it into a one. <laughs> uh, six aboard. Wait. Why am I taking six aboard on him? Oh, because of the battlesmith. Yes. yes. I did it right. No war. <laughs> no wounds. Okay. I think that's my. 
Excellent. Uh, over here, we're going to pray for Prayer of Ash. Prayer of Ash is an answer value of four because I'm outside of range. Uh, this is a minus one to wound. He gets it. Okay, so he's a little bit harder to kill. Let's move the Molten Inferno. Mm. Come on, doubles. Seven inches. So what I've done with the Molten Infernoth, instead of going for damage, I pulled him backwards and I've placed him where he wants to move the Squig Herd. Uh, this is going to force you to move the Squig Herd around the other direction mm -hmm. and hopefully keep him off me for a turn or two. Now he can still teleport, which is fine, Indeed. but I'm just trying to force you back, mm -hmm. force mm -hmm. him back. Mm -hmm. That is it. Let's move into movement. Okay. Fire Slayers have completed their movement phase. My Rune Schmiter is standing bravely on this point, looking at that Squig Herd. Got nothing on him. All of my Hearthguard have surrounded the Mangler, and we're going to see if we can just beat the ever-loving snot out of it. Um, and that is the entirety of my army. Nice. So we can get into shooting with the Flame Spitter. Nine, 12. Um, so I'm getting, these are going to be mortals on fives with the flame spitter. So how about four mortals? All right, two models down. The hero is going to throw his axe. Huh, it misses. Uh, to save us time, I'm going to roll all 20 of these at the same time. Okay. Huh. Fours and fours, baby. So of those 20, we got six hits. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and we got three wounds, no rend. Fours! Two go through. Nice. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, he suffered five damage already. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our two heroes are gonna throw their axes. Of course. Two hits. No wounds. No. Oh. Charges. Snake eyes. <laughs> Let's charge with the Grimwrath Berserker. Snake eyes. Yes! Dirty. <laughs> Dirty. Why would you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby? Okay. Um, it is not worth the reroll. His damage is good, but. <laughs> David says send it. <laughs> Go for it. Well, all of my charges are like three inches. All right, I've been goaded into rerolling the Hearthguard Berserker. Yes! Here we go. He gets a 12. Yes! <laughs> All right. All right, here you go. You got room now. Uh, hearth guard with pull axes. They're all in. Oh, yeah, they are. Hearth guard with broad axes. They made it. They did. Just barely, David. I rolled a four. Monstrous actions. What do you want? So this guy has one wound on him? Yes. I'm going to stomp that unit. Go for it. Just to kill something. See if we can, see if we can kill it. Ah! Okay, you, more. Yeah, come on. Three mortal wounds. Okay, force. I failed them all. Yes, two models down. <laughs> Broad actors. Activating. Oh, right. Three. Then. 19 attacks. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready for it. <laughs> Cheers. I dropped one. Well, you dropped two. Right there? Oh, I see it. No. <laughs> Cheap now. <laughs> Three. All right. Should I? What's the rend of this? Rend two, or rend one. So you get five. So okay. three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Five up saves. And two damage each? Yeah. You rolled good, though. Look at oh, you. You can't oh, ever talk smack about those dice. Ten. Oh, barely dead. I got him. <laughs> oh, I got him. Now, he does explode. He does. Every okay. unit within three, I roll a four up. So we got your character here. Nothing. Uh, squad right here. Nothing. And this squad right here. Nothing. Um, so you have one battle shock today. I'm, I am going to do my three inch consolidation and pile in moves over here, but you want to do your battle shock? You I do. don't have a battle shock. I didn't shoot yeah, any. Yeah, you got two. Oh, I got two. Go for it. Battle shock away. Ah! 
One. Damn it, I passed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is it for the Fire Slayers. Let's move on to Hero and score it up. Fire Slayers have completed their turn. Uh, we scored five points. We held one, two. Uh, we got a bonus point for the Galatian Champion. And we completed our battle tactic of eye for an eye. And we have all of our strength still standing on our point, which I'm pretty, pretty pleased with about. Uh, but we're going to get into the Git's turn. What's your battle tactic? I think I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do follow to moon, which follow means moon. I need to hold more objectives than you. And all my units have to be within the light of the bad moon, which is every unit on the table. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm doing that because there's a couple other ones I could pick, but this is the only chance I can do that in this game. Splendid. Uh, heroic actions, what do you want? Whew. Well, heroic actions, um, there's generated command point on Scragrat. I don't really have anything else. Okay. Yep, he gets it. Um, He's got let's, two free. Let's go ahead and generate a command point with the Battlesmith. He's got one command point. That's my only command point. All right. Casting. Casting it is. So I'm not within range of Itchy Nuisance, so, and I can't do um, Mesmerize, but mm -hmm. I can do the Fungoid Cloud from um, my Shroomancer. Okay. This is for that minus one to hit bubble, yes. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And it goes off. Nice. Minus one to hit within 12 of the dude standing on the giant mushroom with legs, and then I'm going to do something tricky here, and I hope it succeeds. Maybe I happen. am going to Hand of Gork Scragrot. Yes. I love and it. He needs a, a six of a dice roll. Okay. And he Five. Get it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Scragrot is happy standing in his castle. He's like, he no, is. I'm good. I'm just going to hang out. I think what I'll do now, so that changes my plans a little bit. Just... Um, unleash the fangs of the bad moon on your own squad. Yes, exactly. That's all I got, basically. Um, I'll do... Hmm, you can still fight first no matter what if I charge into them, right? Yes, because I made sure to give myself a command point over there. Mm-hmm. That's, okay. that's why I big brain and came into that. Okay, then I'll just give myself... Mystic, sh I'll give the squigs Mystic Shield. Mystic Shield on the squigs. It goes off on a 10. Excellent, they have a mighty five up save. <laughs> I have nothing else to do. I might as well give them something. Um, I think that's all I have casting wise. Well, let's move into movement. Let's do it. Okay, I move those squigs into that character to try to take that point. Um, he doesn't have a command point so he couldn't redeploy. Um, got Scragrod out of the building. He was getting bored up there with nobody to shoot at with his magic spell, his uh, more wound. Mind bullets. Yep. And then Gabapalooza moved to follow the herd, which also moved um, at, the, at the invocation um, to try to get around it, hopefully. But it's, and then uh, Squig Boss moved closer, toe in, just to see if he can link up with those squigs at some point and Juice them up. Fail. If you please fail. That would be just the, the icing on the cake that is this game. Six. No, you got six. Okay. Six, nine, ten squigs. Okay. Forty attacks. <laughs> <laughs> fours and fours, man. Fours and fours though. It's ten wounds at red one. Can you make it? It's let's find out. Alright. Ready? Ready. Fours and fours. For the win. Let's do it. Yellow Baron of Dice are serving me well. Force! Because it's minus one to wound. Seven off the first round. And then the second okay. round. Above average. And then four off the second. About average. You did 11 wounds total, and I have fives. Rend one. Here we go. Fives? So it's two, four, he's dead. You got him. Hell yeah. <laughs> no ward save, Mike. No ward save over there. He's too far away. Yep. 
Nicely done. Nicely done. Um, no battle shock. Let's get on here. I do have battle shock. <gasps> oh, battle shock away. <laughs> I forgot you. You lost some guys. Go for it. Three or lower. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. They're good. The Gits have completed their turn. How did you score? Uh, it looks like I controlled, controlled more. I had the special objectives and battle tactics, so I got six. Six. Uh, so six points puts you to 15, right? It does, and that so puts we're tied. me at a tie We are you. tied mm -hmm. going into battle round four. Mm -hmm. So the flank objectives are going to drop. Yes. And you're going to roll to see where the moon, if the moon stays or if it moves. Get out of here. Does it stay or does it go now? Get out of here. Yes, it stays. All right, that's good for you. <laughs> now we get into an important roll-off. Every roll-off's important. I still break ties. Is this where you get your glorious double? It's glorious. I rolled a six. <sighs> I break well, ties. I'm not going to roll the <laughs> dice. <laughs> Order continues. Um, so we're going to get into the top of battle round four, Fire Slayers. Mm-hmm. We were getting into Fire Slayer's turn. I'm, I'm really shocked we're at Battle Round 4, but here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So let's get into Battle Tactics. My Battle Tactic this round is going to be an honorable death. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to send my Grim Wrath Berserker to his death. inevitable doom. <laughs> yes. Um, pick one friendly hero. You complete this tactic if that hero is slain during this turn and any enemy models were also slain by wounds caused by attacks made by that hero during this phase. So he's a little bit far away, but to get him there, I'm going to awaken a wound, a wound, a rune. <laughs> um, so we're going to do the rune of resent, relentless zeal to give myself plus move to my plus two to my move characteristic. And then I'm going to try and roll the enhanced effect and get plus two to charge. Let's do it. No. So plus two to move. Um, we already measured it. That gives me like a six or seven inch charge. I have one command point. For my heroic action, I'm going to use Blaze of Fury. It's the heroic action for the Fire Slayers from the book, and it's real bad. But in this one situation, it's kind of good. Big brain, baby. Um, pick one friendly Fire Slayers here, and to the end of the turn, the enhanced effect of the the rune is activated for this hero. So I'm plus two to move and charge. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <I'm running> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excellent. I'm excited about that. Um, and I have one command point for a reroll. <sighs> what do I, I gotta do, uh, generate a command point here, huh? And you can also do heroic action, uh, just running over your turn. Please That's feel free to do heroic action. Can't do much, but I can try to generate one on Scraggy. Yep. He's got it. Let's go ahead and... Where's my Rune Schmiter? Let's do Runic Empowerment and give my Grimrath Berserker plus one to wound. Excellent. So that should help him with the killing part, because he's got to be able to mm -hmm. kill something. And then that should help me with the getting into the combat thing. So as yep. long as we can kill one little squiggo and die in return, we're okay. going to get That is it. I'm going to move my, my Molten Infernoth. Seven. So we have three units within three inches of him. So let's roll on the Boingrot Bounders. Uh, two mortals on the Bounders. All right. Let's roll on the Gavapalooza. Okay. Two mortals on the Gavapalooza. Mm-hmm. And now on the squig herd, two. All right. Six mortals seems perfectly fine. That's it, y'all. Let's move into movement. Fire Slayers have completed their movement phase. It was very short. Um, we moved our hearth guard to block this gap right here. And they were just standing bravely in the point. Um, all of these guys were standing on the point to try and keep as far away from the squig herd as possible while making sure that we maintain control of that point. And now we're going to send the Grimrath Berserker to his inevitable death. Okay. Ready, Freddy? Make the charge. The five in, we're, we're looking for a five on dice. That's a six. More than More enough. More than enough. 
Try to bring as many squigs in as possible. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're going to spend our one command point to all out attack. So we're going to be twos and twos right now. Three hits. Three wounds, run two, three little goblins die. So talk us through what you're doing right now. So <laughs> the people at home know why and for what, what's happening. So right now I am swinging back with two goblins because I think those are our two uh, herd because I think those are within an inch. So you're specifically not piling in. I'm not to try piling to in. Not kill me. I do not want to kill you Got because it. that would deny your battle tactic. Yes, which is hilarious. And I, it will be it'll be a problem for future Ted. Because he will stay there. <laughs> but screw that guy. <laughs> ah, fuck that. All right. <laughs> so I'm no modifiers. Fours and threes, right? You have modifiers. Yep. Oh, yeah, you're ah, plus, damn it. You're, you're, plus, you're, plus, you're threes and twos. Threes and twos with six attacks. I didn't charge. All right, you oh, yeah. Half of them. You can buy these dice at baronofdice.com. <laughs> twos. Yes, two go through. Sixes. And fives. Okay, he is alive. Yes! <laughs> so he suffered four wounds. Uh, at the end of combat, on two up, he gets to fight again. Oh, he rolled a one, guys. <laughs> oh, no. I really wanted to, like, move into everything and make uh, that so painful for you. Battle shock first. Two plus. Two. So two more, right? Uh, two plus two. Three. You, just, you did kill four this week. You killed four because he shot. Earlier. He oh, shot. you got it. You're right. So, two ups. Two. Two two ups. You failed the most. Snake eyes. <laughs> He's happily alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. God, Let's. Uh... Where's those other dice again? <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Euro. Okay. Fire Slayers have completed their turn. We only scored one point because we failed our battle tactic. Uh, we also were unable to pin his whole army, uh, which would have been so tasty, so juicy, but it did not happen. Um, so it's 16 to 15, and after lamenting for a long, long time, we've realized what? What's your battle tactic? My battle tactic would be... Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, so, so matter of honor. <laughs> matter of honor. <laughs> um, there is nothing that he can actually achieve right now. So yeah. we're gonna try and save gaining momentum or maybe stab him in the dark for next turn. Yep. And heroic actions. Get a command point with Scrag Rod. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, he got one. Now he's got four to use. Um, let's get one command point with my uh, Battlesmith. He does I, also, not. I also have to um, try to bring some squigs back. Get to. Yeah. So over there, I got two herders. This unit on the side. Mm-hmm. Another herder dies, and three, and maybe, let's see what squigs come back. Three, three. squigs come back. That's right. How many? Mm -hmm. You killed four. Oh, it doesn't matter. I got three herders back. Three herders. Okay, they all are good, but I can only bring them up to 15 total. I'll just roll them. You're back. Six, yep. Um, magic? Magic. Okay. Okay, I can. I'll try and two nuisance on these guys. All right. Goes off on a little 10, on a 10, sorry. Four up, it goes off. They're fight lasted. Huh? They are fight lasted. They are fight lasted. All right. And then I'll do fungoid cloud. Nice one hits. Mm-hmm. That goes off on a nine. Which we probably should have considered when he was over there swinging up like a, a madman. Yeah. Moving on. Yes, we probably should have considered that. Um, what else do I want to... I'm going to try the Hand of Gork again. Hand of Gorking. Um, so Scragrot. The, Scra is Scragrot going to try and Hand of Gork himself, maybe? Yes. Excellent. Go nuts. I need a dice roll of a six. I get it. Aggressively. Okay. Over here. Unleash the fangs. Unleash his fangs on that hero. Right in my business. Okay. Okay. See if it goes off. It's on a three plus two. 
So it's uh, six plus two and eight. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, it goes off, huh? All right, three up. Okay, five mortals. I have five dice sitting in my hand, all ready to go. Five ups. I failed them all. Okay. Anything um, else? Yeah. So I don't know. I will give the squigs plus one to hit and wound. Splendid. Um, and because now they can get after it. They can get after it. That's right. Can get after it. Doesn't mean they will. Um, and I think that is all I have in the hero phase. Perfect. Let's move in and move. Okay. Looks like uh, I moved my squig herd up. I moved in advance because it doesn't matter because I got the light of the bad moon. Moved the bounders up. His linebackers right behind him. Squig boss moved up pretty pitifully. Um, over here, he, he rolled a one on the run. Wish he would have rolled mo just more than a one. But, and then over here, um, I ran those squigs because they're trying to make sure they come up the rear. <laughs> they're trying se. to help for later. Coming up the rear. All righty. Let's, um, let's do some charges, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. I think I want to make sure to, I think I'm going to charge the bounders. Make sure to get the mortals. Six is good. And in the box, seven. seven. Let's see if I got it. I think I did. Okay, and then they're going to do their impact hits. Two mortal wounds. Fourth, save them both. Nice. Okay. Now, if you could roll another set of sneak eyes for me, I'd appreciate that. Squigs. Yep. Oh, is this you, the you did it to me? Snake eye? Yeah, you did it to me. No, you're good to go. Hey! All right. I am fight lasted, and I have no command points, so go nuts. <laughs> this is horrible for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll move the bounders around here. The lances. Um, I guess I can use all out attack. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because the other squad already has a plus one to hit and wound, so this makes more sense. Yeah. This will be threes and threes of the lances. And that's four at Ren 2, two damage. Uh, so let's go straight to wards, eight wards. It took three damage. Man, they're tanky. All right. And these are the, the mounts. The mounts, four each. So, and these will be threes and threes also. Six, rend one, one damage. Sixes, and now fives. So I take six damage. Carry on, good sir. All right, she piles in. I'm gonna just move that right here right now. 12, 14, 15, so you count 15? Yeah, because the unit came back up to strength. Yep, so. yeah, full strength. Yep, so, you're so 60. 60 dice. How many do I have here? I've lost a bunch of these dice. Let me do 40 at a time or 20 at a time? Just do 20. All right, fours and threes. Uh, threes oh, and no, twos. Threes and twos, that's right, because they're plus one attack. Threes and twos. Woof. I whiffed it a little bit. Okay, three, six, nine to start. Three, six, nine. Let's roll and see if this matters. I failed all of those. Let's take wards. Two, four, six. Seven, they're dead. Oh. You got them. Got them. You em. got the squad. Splendid. Um, that is it. Let's go on here and sword up. Okay. The Gits have completed their uh, turn. How'd you score? 
I got one solid point. One. Yep. One is the loneliest number. Mm -hmm. um, guys, it is going into the top of battle round five, and we are tied 16 to 16, mm -hmm. which is wild. Yes. Um, we're going to do a roll off. If I win the roll off, I might be able to stop you from completing a battle tactic. Mm -hmm. If you win the roll off, you can gain a momentum and win the game. Yes. And you still, I still break ties. Yes, you do. <laughs> so. This is this is it. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Okay. You make me three, two, go. Hey! No! I won the roll off. Um, I still have very sketchy things that I can do, so we are going to do battle round five. Fire slayers. Oh, we should move the moon too. Move the moon. This plays a role. It's, this does matter. Please get off the board, moon. It moves here. No, there. Sorry. <sighs> okay. We'll be back. Battle round five. Fire Slayers. Top of battle round five. Fire Slayers are about to get into it. It is all tied up at fun to fun. And we are going to fight for the tie. So what I'm going to try and do is there's not a battle tactic I can complete. I also can't deny him his grand strat. So my plan is to attack these two units as aggressively as I possibly can. Um, so to make gaining momentum as difficult as possible for him. So that is what we're gonna do. For my, uh, my rune, I'm gonna do the rune of searing heat. Uh, so unmodified wound rolls for attacks made by fire slayer unit is a six. It causes one mortal in addition to. And the standard effect does not matter, or the enhanced effect does not matter because we're not within three inches of any enemies. So that's what I'm doing. Heroic actions. Um, let's see, I you want that command point. I get one. Yep. I do get one. I don't need another one right now. Yes, I do. Two up, command point. Excellent. We get a command point. What do you want? I'll do that on Scragra because it matters. Okay. Scragra has dos command points. And he can issue to himself and do all the things. Uh, we are going to move the in Infernoth. Would have been a great time to roll doubles there, bro. Eight inches. Mike's play better. Uh, mortals on sixes. Take a mortal on the squigger. <sighs> oh. Good. I want something to regenerate. And then let's do uh, runic empowerment. Give them plus one to wound. With a reroll, plus one to wound. That's hero phase. Yeah, it is. Yep. Let's move into movement. Let's do it. Uh, so movement phase is complete. We've moved nothing. My whole army is on camera right now. So we're going to go straight into shooting. Mm -hmm. And we're going to shoot... Uh, all of our axes at you right now. Here we go. Axe attack. Ha. We got two hits with ten dice. The Baron has heard my <laughs> my grief. Uh, two wounds, no rent. All right, two sixes on the herd, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh. Okay. And now our two, one hero attack, axe. Okay, so that is it for shooting. Let's charge. Let's charge with the Hearthguard Berserkers. A four? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. You got a command point, right? Four is good. Battle Smith. Six. Rune Smiter. Five. He's, he's going to stay there. Let's all on attack. Let's do it. Do it now. So 20 attacks. 21 attacks. Hitting on twos, winning on twos. <laughs> yep, twos and twos. Let's do it. Must be nice. I've never played an army in my life that is hit on threes on average. <laughs> I play guard and gloom spike. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a glutton for punishment. Like, Four! <laughs> oh! So take... Lots of two, twos. four, six, eight, ten mortals again. 
Oh, it's hit and wound. So hit is two mortals, and then wound on sixes is going to be one more. All in addition to normal. Yes. <laughs> That's why it's like, do I have enough damage to do this? Like, it's possible. It's not likely, but it is possible. Twos. Uh, take three more mortals. Don't mind if I do. And all of those wound. But these are these Four, are how many damage. mortals? Three more. Three mortals and how many wounds and what's the rent? Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. I did eighteen. <laughs> uh, so they're 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 no rent. So you do get your your you do get your six. Okay, I took the mortals off. Okay. And now I got eighteen saves. Yeah. Eighteen sixes. Look Hell at how many sixes you just rolled. Six! <laughs> six sixes, so 12 <laughs> it's wounds. It's a third sixes. Okay. You may activate. My turn? You may activate. All right, into your priestly man. Battlesmith. Unfortunately, I didn't charge, so. I have, what, four models there? So I'll do the lances first. Fours and threes, rend one, one down. To build the suspense. Actually, one of them's a leader, so I get an extra one. Um, he's gonna issue his one command point to himself. All that depends. Two wounds at rend one. Fours? Save them both. Okay, and then 12 more. <laughs> Fours and threes. All righty then. Six at Ren one. Fours. Filled uh, two, four, five of them. Sixes. Uh, so he's failed four. There's one room, wound remaining. This is going to end up really well for me, I think. <laughs> this could be really good for me. I wanted... Him in this a, position. A bloody wounded character. <laughs> yes. <this stuff off. laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, he's going to swing back at you. Of course he is. With his four attacks. Uh, three to um, three. Do I have, I got command points. I can do all out of defense here. You can. Threes and threes. Take three, minus one. Four ups. Oh! That's two damage piece. Hacha! Oh. Okay. <laughs> do you want to move with your Swing in with your two squigs? Of course I do. They have plus one to hit and wound, right? So they got that before they went in there. It's still. Yeah, yep. it should be still be good. Okay, so six fours and fours with the herders. The herders, three hits. Two wounds, no rend, one damage. Fives and four, save it. All right, threes and twos. Of course. This is also what happens with the fire slayers every time. <laughs> they just two wounds or end one. They just kind of hang out, see if they survive. Saved them both. Yeah, of course. All right. All right, do your battle shock. Okay. What have I lost here? Five, ten, plus three, thirteen. So um, they run, mm -hmm. no matter what. Yeah. Oh, well, look. So well, five plus 13 is 18 minus four, so you do 14 mortals on two ups. No, but I only have five models left. Hmm? I only got five models left. For each model that runs. Oh, yeah. yeah. got so it, got I can it. only do it with five. Got it. It doesn't count for herders. It's just the, the cave squid. So just two. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ha, I did it and by accident. 
you don't want to accidentally kill the battlesmith, so just put it into the, the squad. Yep, I think so. Because it doesn't matter. Okay. I took a look. Let's snap on to Hero. So, we're snapping right on camera. We're just going to keep rolling. Everything's still rolling. Because we're at the bottom of battle round five, and we know what your battle tactic is. Yes. Your battle tactic is... Um, not aggressive expansion. What is that? Gaining one? momentum. Gaining momentum. That's what it's called. So what you have to do is get control of my point, and you're going to try and kill the battlesmith. Correct. Yes. Excellent. So, and do I have to pick the unit that I kill again? Yes. Okay, I do. Yep. Okay. Okay. Heroic actions. Heroic actions. Hmm. I guess I'm going to try to generate a command point with Scrag. Sure. Okay, he's got another one. Sit right there with him. Um, we are going to finest hour on the Battlesmith because I can't do anything else. Okay. Roger that. Let's go ahead and see if you can nuke him with Scragrot. Okay. Because that's, that's really what it comes down to. That is. Because if you nuke him with Scragrot, you can just move on to this point right here. Yep. And, and win the game. Jaws. Okay. And then a four up. Make it happen. These roll perils for me. Got it on a eight, six plus two. Oh, All right. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Now you have to try and kill him with that one knucklehead. So mm. quick movement. No, There's... I can I can move in advance with and charge with those guys. Yes. So let's do a quick movement. Yeah. And then Go right into charges. Sounds good. So we have completed our movement phase. And just real briefly talking about what happened, we realized uh, Scragrod still needed to cast a Mystic Shield or an Arcane Bolt. He did. He moved five inches, chucked an Arcane Bolt, and I failed my four up and my ward, mm -hmm. uh, which Let's got this guy. finally gets him. Uh, and then moved in advance, got the Squig Herd onto the point. Yep. So that is battle tactic complete, mm -hmm. hold one, Two and more. So we're going to get right into the wrap up. Tell you the final score. All right, Wargamers, we are here for the wrap up. Final score 20 for Fire Slayers, 24 for the Goomslight Gits. Um, mm -hmm. Really close game, really tight. Like, we really needed to play it through all the way to the bottom of Battle Round 5, and that's what you want to see. You want to see it go all the way, mm -hmm. uh, and we, did, we weren't sure that this was going to happen for this game. No. Like, you don't know what's going to happen when the gets come on the table. Uh, if you are still with us at this point, thank you so much for joining us. Comment down below what your favorite moments were, what the key takeaways were, and heck, even what we could have done better, because I can think of a couple things that I could have done a little bit better. Ted? Yes. Key moments, ups, downs, highs, lows, MVPs, LVPs. What do you got? Well, I would give my MVP to my loon boss on a Mangler Squig because he glor he had a glorified death where yep. he exploded and killed your warlord. So both of our warlords died at the same time. He survived with one wound to yep. strike back and kill him, which was mm -hmm. awesome. Yep. And then I would say... Um, Man, I would say the Squig boss failed this one pretty bad. I don't know. He, like, he got onto the point and just stood there and got you. Yeah. Like, got, he got you that whole. He got you that point. The yeah, whole but game. he forgot to tell me to use cunning maneuvers instead of uh, <laughs> desecrate their lands. <laughs> so. And we both did that turn one. We both should have cunning maneuvered and saved desecrate, and yep. we both screwed that up. And then he. Ended up over there to not give mortals on sixes to any of my squares right. for the rest of the game. So yeah. I think it's his fault, to be honest with <laughs> yep. you. Yep, yep. He caused you the game. <laughs> but you won, so I didn't... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your... L so he's the LVP. Yeah, I think so. Um, I love the big block of squigs. I mean, yeah. they came in, smacked, came back came in and smacked again. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just so, it's so many wounds. It's good. It's like 120 or what, 130 wounds or something for the big block? Yeah, if you're playing Gloom Spite, I mean, it's it's hard to not play that block of squigs. Or it's, what is it, it's 30, 36? 30 squigs and six herders. Okay, so it's, uh, what, what is it? 72, 72. wounds, yep. 
Ugh. Yeah. Um, and they come back every turn. And they come back. Yes. Yeah. And then they regenerate the squad half strength. Right. So you're actually fighting like 140 wounds. Yep. <laughs> um, what so about you? MVPs, LVPs for me. Um, LVPs are probably the fire slayers with the hand axes. They showed up to get punched in the face and die. Yeah. I mean, they're screens, but they're very expensive screens. I just wish my screens were just cheaper because they don't do anything besides getting punched in the face. Yeah. Right? Like, I can fight on death, take your four attacks that can't hit or <laughs> wound anything. Um, I wish those were like just a little bit, like, I, I wish their baseline models were just a little bit killier. For their points. For their for points. Sure. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, 100 and, for 20 wounds on a four up save is 160 points, but it has zero damage output. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, MVPs are the hearth guard with the pole axes. They oh, yeah. did an insane amount of damage. Yes. They killed a mangler squig. Mm -hmm. They came back and killed a squig herd. They were blocking, they, ki they killed two squig herds. This mm -hmm. game. Like, yep. They, they did an insane amount of damage. For they no annihilated reason. the big block of squigs twice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So if you think about it, that's, you know, wound-wise, they, they took care of the 140. Uh, something I could have done a little bit better, I could have defensively bumped up my uh, general when I sent him in. Mm -hmm. uh, so I could have given him a five aboard and given him plus two a save. He would have survived the slap back from your guy. Yep. And then I probably would have been able to just keep fighting and killing more. Because uh, then I would have been able to tag the other Mangler Squig. Yes. Um, so that's a big moment for me. Another big failed moment was the that that battle tactic that I failed. Uh, and then I couldn't <sighs> failed the two up, so then I couldn't pin your whole army. Yep. Because um, had that happened, we probably would have gone to a tie or a lot or a yep. win for me. Yep. Um, big big moment for you was that failed charge with the Mangler. Because mm. then he just got punched in the face yes. and did nothing. And it made it to where you could annihilate the bounders and suffer no wounds. Nope. Basically. I, yep, I took nothing for The it. reason I tried to pincer you yeah. is so that you had to kill one or the other and I could wipe at least half of your unit. Right. And that, that failed charge, that failed six-inch charge was, um, it was depressing. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was depressing. Um, what a fun game, though, like mm -hmm. to just come back point for point, point for point, tie it all the way through, and then at the last minute, like, finally get that, that win. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome game. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming out. It was awesome. Uh, thank you guys for joining us, and we will see you next week for another Battle Report.